what's going on guys it's jz welcome to my channel so i have been saving my legendaries for maybe three days now and i think i have like 52 at the moment and the reason being that i was saving is because i wanted to show you guys when you are looking into upgrades what kind of gear piece yeah gear piece with attributes and magic attributes that you should be looking for so we are going to identify all of them these are 24 in one stash here 24 here that makes it 48 then we have yeah two here so yeah that's 50 because that's a total of 50 so we will be going to put them in our inventory not sure if there will be enough space for that but we will have to see hopefully there will be enough space for that it looks like it it has a space for that and voila so now we have 52 items here or 50 and we are going to identify them and then i will be talking about what kind of attributes you should be looking at so there we go we are going to see couple of pluses here definitely or not couples literally three that's disappointing but anyways A lot of exceptionals there first i am going to stand here because i will be separating my items that i might think is actually good lot of lots of exceptionals there but literally three with ups It's just keep on going and going. Exceptional, exceptional. And that's it. All right. Three pluses. All right, let's look at this one here. Will power and fortitude. It's may not even anything good at the magic attribute. Also, skill damage is actually good for demon hunter. But if it doesn't have a critical chance in it, I would say to avoid it. And also willpower and fortitude. This is actually really weaker uh, item. Same goes here. Five percent attack speed lacks the critical chance. As a demon hunter or any class, you really need a critical chance so that you will be able to trigger critical damage a lot more. Without the critical chance, you cannot trigger critical hit damage unless you are doing a fire storm. I think fire storm still take. It still takes benefit from the critical hit damage uh, but it has quite less damage compared to the original the real critical damage then here strength is actually good willpower is all right but you should be looking at a strength and fortitude in my opinion and critical chance this is me as well suck really bad this has six percent critical hit damage but no critical chance comes with vitality and strength vitality is actually good not bad no i'm going to pass all of this is actually good but lacks critical chance otherwise it is usable without critical chance in my opinion everything is useless here this is actually good i can say it has five percent critical chance one thousand 400 combat rating but i have better already so it is not a good upgrade for me then moving forward look it's really hard to find one with critical chance i'm sure you guys are noticing that but the one with the critical chance is the best then here somehow it's up for me maybe for this one no or this one here because it is still inferno 2 item but doesn't have any critical chance here critical damage and 
damage to elite but no strength so i am not going to use it anyways 50 items and out of all of them they are quite useless and also when you are looking into the chest piece make sure that you focus on the strength fortitude and beneficial duration beneficial duration is actually really good any skills that you are using that is considered as above beneficial duration is going to increase that skill duration so that is good to have beneficial duration a lot of it then here another one no it's, it's, it's a bad role there as well so literally i didn't get anything good that i could show you that is actually equipped able this band here is all right again but beneficial duration is my goal with maximum life and fortitude i would say but if you didn't find fortitude make sure that you have still have strength like this here yeah this yeah this one has the beneficial duration but comes with the willpower and no strength also the combat rating is a lot less block chance increase is good but no without the beneficial duration it's not that great beneficial duration combat rating is a lot less wow i got really bad rolls there on the helmet you should get critical chance that should be your main focus critical chance not attack speed and strength and fortitude if you can get here the combat rating is actually higher but it doesn't have any critical chance so i am going to pass skill damage and damage enemy damage to enemies below 30 percent life increase six percent bad as well and this one has critical chance but lacks combat rating so nothing is a con i mean nothing is a upgrade for me so this is all this is going to go into the trash but i guess i just had to show it to you guys what you need to focus on if you have helmet make sure you get the critical chance critical head damage or primary damage if it comes i'm not sure on the chest piece beneficial duration is the best magic attribute and strength for your main class and fortitude of course shoulder critical chance primary damage is actually great this is almost a perfect role for me pants with the beneficial duration again and life or block chance is great strength fortitude with vitality would be awesome critical chance critical hit damage is perfect for weapons here primary is good as well if you're a demon hunter because demon hunter uses primary a lot with critical chance is great again primary damage increase six percent critical chance increase three percent strength there and item based damage increase by three percent is great as well with the critical chance so this is what the perfect rolls looks like hope this video helps you and i would highly suggest you not to equip any random gear pieces just for the combat rating gain because yeah it is giving you more combat rating but it is actually making you less effective in many places so try to avoid that be more patient as you can see i am i didn't get anything good and i kept all this loot for almost three days now but all that is now going into trash just by clicking one button 50 done and i got myself a new shoulder which i will be testing of course but anyways this is it for the video hope you guys find it useful and i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys